Yo, what's up? What's good? This guy doing? I feel the man's boy. Deep back to another another bang. Y'all already know it is right, man. Kyle. Today is WWE Thursday, number 24. Man, today's video, we got Tyrus, but nobody wants to hear this anymore. So I uh, did a little research on this. Those of y'all who don't know who Tyrus is, he used to be a, he's a former WWE wrestler. He used to go by the name of Brodus Clay. He used to be a uh, part of the team called the Funk Adactors. The Funk Adactors. I think that's what it was called. Funk Adactors. It was something like that. It was something, <laughs> Funk something. But he used to, he left WWE, and I guess he's doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I don't know. I think he came out with a, a documentary or something. Uncle, you good? <laughs> <laughs> I, I told y'all, hey, for those y'all who knew, man, my uncle's going to cough. He's going to yawn. I mean, that's just what you got to deal with. Because this, this, this is up. You know what I'm saying? He can't hide it. You know what I'm You're going to deal with some yawning, some cough. But he's fine. Don't worry about him. You know, he's, just, he's just a cough. You know what I'm saying? And a yawn. It's, 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 it's come from packing all that food. You see all you see. Anyway, uh, basically, I think he dropped a documentary or something. I forget what it is, but I think he's basically talking about society and about how disappointed he is uh, about it or whatever. But uh, we're going to hop right into it. He was on the news about four days ago, so we're going to hop right into it. Those y'all, I'm going to leave the original uh, video link in the description down below if you want to check it out on your own time. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, join the Deep Squad. You already know what it is, man. Uh, man, you ready? Yep. Time for two women. Okay, I guess he was on the new, a new something on Netflix. Yeah, he was on something on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? So he, I guess he played, um, played somebody. Yeah, in a Netflix series or something. That's him actually. That is so cool. Many people know him as a professional wrestler with the ring name uh, Brodus Clay, the Funkasaurus. Did I get that right? Yeah, you did get that right, and kudos to you, man. That's footage from a TV series called Love about six years ago, maybe? Maybe ah. longer, yep. It's old. Tyrus, yeah. I didn't even introduce you yet. You, Others you know, know who I am. Yeah. Others know him as a bodyguard to celebrities like Snoop Dogg, but now, most of you know him because of his role here at Fox News. He was Snoop Dogg's bodyguard? To celebrities like what? Snoop Dogg. But what the hell? How the hell I didn't know this? I didn't know this. How the I didn't know that? Man, I be so man. I be, man, I don't be paying attention, dog. Oh shit! Yo, that that yo, he was a big dude. Yeah, he's a big dude, man. Hey, how I didn't know that he was bike off of Snoop. I that might have been a fun fact. Like like a lot of people probably didn't know that. Yeah, that shit crazy. That is crazy. This shit don't go up. Yeah, that's crazy. This this shit is a little low. All right. But now, most of you know him because of his role here at Fox News as Tyrus. Yeah, I literally need no introduction anymore, but uh, your kind words are great. In D.C. that can really call George Santos a liar without being a hypocrite. What is a liar, Greg? You know, I feel like that's a gross mischaracterization yes. of George. <laughs> you know, I, George is more of an improv artist. Okay? <laughs> he goes in a room... Give me a word. Give me a place. Yes. <laughs> and let's have some fun. <laughs> uh, he gained a big following from his first uh, bestseller about his remarkable life. Now he finds himself yeah, on stage doing stand-up when he's not busy okay. saving the Great Gut Belt okay. show uh, and making it number one. He's out with a new certain-to-be bestseller. Wow. Damn. No. That's impressive. Really impressive. It's different, like, going out and trying new things, but to make it number one? That's different. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Big Us to Tyrus, man. Yeah. He out here doing definitely. his thing. Doing, doing his, his thing. thing. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Tyrus. Ready, called Nuff said, offering his take on the issues that matter most to Americans while still weaving in some of his unique background. Tyrus. Honored Rare for you to get compliments these days, Never especially on the Gutfeld show, which we're still trying to figure out why all those shots are still being fired at you. But um, you're one of the guys who, since I've been here, uh, you extended the branch, and I was happy to send in a learning tree. And uh, I believe I, in this book I talk about you, the backbone of Fox, because if you need someone, whether it's any day of the week, any time or night, 
you and your little backpack will be there. So. Right. It's not a little it's backpack. Days. It's a full body yeah. backpack. It's little to you. <laughs> it's little to me. Because you're 6'8". 6'9"? 6'8". 6'8". You're, you're, you're right. Sale. So here's a, uh, the dedication, I think, tells a lot about why you got to get the book. You say, I dedicate yeah. this book to pain, loss, and failure, the three greatest teachers in life. You can't win without them. You've experienced that all really before the age of 18. Right, but it, ooh, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep. He said the three, king. the three greatest teachers in life is pain, loss, and failure. That is a gem, y'all. Yeah, that is definitely. a fucking gem. Cause definitely. you can't win without. You know, if you think about it, yeah, like you gonna go through all that. You gonna go through pain. Dog, all that shit gonna make you stronger. Yeah. You can't win if you don't know what that feel like, cause that's gonna come. That's so if true. you if you can't if you can't handle all that, you ain't gonna win never. You ain't gonna be nobody. It's gonna come with loss. It's gonna come with failure. You're gonna fail. Yeah. It's about how you get up. Is you gonna get up or not? Yeah, exactly. Pain, man. You gonna deal with pain, bro. Definitely. I don't care I've how tough it. you are. You gonna deal with pain, bro. I've done it. Believe that. Come on now, loss. You I've all done that. Loss. Come on, that is that is a gem right there. Yeah. That's a gem. I like that. I Pain, loss, and yeah. failure. The three greatest teachers in life. That's what's yeah. up. Okay, Tyrus. We don't celebrate it enough. And I think one of the biggest problems that we're seeing, especially with parenting in this country, and is yeah. everyone's trying to avoid the bumps and bruises and scrapes of life yeah. and failures by not participating. So it, you have to give homage because I couldn't be here where I'm at today if I didn't get fired, released, cut, kicked out. Mm -hmm. Like all the bad things that... That, that helps build your character. Mm -hmm. So when I was thinking about who to dedicate it to, I thought about dedicating it to the dark parts of my life because those were the biggest teachers in life. Right. And, and right. anyone who's been anywhere, it's never been just a smooth sailing. Like, right. I just saw my goal and I just went and got it, you know. And, uh, and I had to get a lot of roads and I, to fill my okay. path. And, yeah. and I wouldn't be as well-rounded as it was if I had not been fired so much and let go or let down or betrayed and all the other things that happened to us. Leaving your house, mm -hmm. uh, leaving a team, getting cut from the WWE, yep. going back to WWE, all these things that happened, totally. being told really, um, your friend invites you over to sleep over after a while. You gotta go. You guys gotta go. Yep. Uh, here's an excerpt from your book. In fact, you should read it because you did the book on tape. You always, this is why I bring my glasses. If we're going to make any progress as a society, we need to be willing to have an uncomfortable conversation. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to have different opinions. But let's always strive to listen to each other. No one does this anymore. That's no, a, that, and like not even that. Said. They don't even Damn, want to hear it. Pause. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, but yeah, what you just said that is completely true. Like people don't know how to do that no more. Like they don't know how to move past shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't know how to just have a. Simple conversation. Y'all ever realize that? And the shit don't be that serious sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Most no. of the time. You know what I mean? Like, and he said, as a society, because we yeah. all got to do it. Yeah. Like, bro. We're all together in this world. We need to be able to talk about anything without any problems, without any conflict. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's okay if we disagree yeah. with each other. I mean, but, because a part of life is disagreeing and agreeing. Yeah, man. Now, if you can't understand that much in life, you shouldn't even get born. Yeah, bro. Because a part of life is losing and winning. Yeah. When you lose, you still win. Because no matter what, you still stand up. And I like how you say you shouldn't be born. Basically saying that, I mean, uh, you, you need to go to another lifestyle, a lifetime. Exactly. Because in this lifetime, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, but, yeah, that's, I mean, we got to learn how to do that better as people, bro. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to learn how to have uncomfortable conversations, just conversations about anything, anything. without any problems, without any exactly. problems, that's what's up, and I like his title of the, um, of his book, Enough Said, that's his yeah, perfect said, title, because yeah. you've already said all everything you had to say, that's true, you know what I'm saying, you already said enough, this is, every, we just have, it's up to us to, uh, you know, take it all in and understand, yeah, you know what I'm saying, that was hard, man. I, I, I actually kind of want to read the book now, yeah, definitely. I ain't gonna lie, facts, to each other no one does this anymore no and not even that they don't even want to hear it and um, you know and it goes on to say that's just mm. what makes this country great that's what makes us human like that's we have sad. to stop hating somebody because they vote differently because we're told there's something wrong with them mm. like there's this my like, uh, your holiday where you arguing with anyone and I'm sure everyone in your family doesn't vote the same as you because right, I didn't right, have right. that issue in my family like we were just happy to be around each other we argued about other things like who gets the last drumstick? And of course, the rule is me. Exactly. So I don't know why my right. children thought to. And that's a, a why would anyone wrestle with you about me. that? I, I would just ask Dad, and we work our way I'm backwards. Dead. 
There's another story that came out that really That's how I might do my kids. Like, if it's the last drumstick, I'm not saying that. Y'all already know that's mine. Yeah. Don't even try. Don't even try. Yeah. He said that is the rule. They know that touch that damn chicken. Yeah. Part of your story. Sports means a lot. Coaching means a lot. Coaching means everything. You're a teacher. So kids today are quitting sports in droves. Why? The study says body image issues. They don't think they look the part. Social media, what if I'm not good? Gender bias and coaching styles. You, your reaction to that? See, I, I disagree with that. I think it's parenting. I think it all goes back to home because exactly. quitting is a top behavior and not allowing your kids to go. Like, for example, I sat the bench in the beginning of my football career. I sat the bench in the beginning of my baseball career, basketball career. Mm-hmm. Basketball career, I was, used to get laughed at because I didn't quite understand how it was to dunk. I was tall enough to dunk, but I remember running down the court, stopping, then jumping, and just missing everything and having my friends laugh at me. I didn't go yeah, not home. Every, yo, that, not every tall dude know how to dunk, though. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? They, it's just not for them. No. But I like what he said. He said, like, he blames it on the parents because, I mean... Bro, quitting is a, is a, like you said, it's a behavior. It's a choice. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a mental thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you just, quitting is like a, bro, it's like, you make quitting, that decision. You right. know what I'm saying? Quitting is something that you decide doing your you own. You decide to do on your own. Exactly, you know I mean? bro. But if, if you, if you judge them as quitting, that's not you. Yeah. Motherfuckers I mean, quit. Because yeah. they don't, they can't, they can't, they can't uh, deal with the ups and downs. They can't handle the, exactly. the bad that come with it. But if you really take some shit serious, like if you're passionate for something, you got to go through the good and bad. Yeah, definitely. Like you just can't stop, bro. Like that's how I am about this channel. Yeah, exactly. I sacrifice a lot. I like that. I some, like how you. Some, some you sleep. I sacrifice some sleep. I sacrifice time. Mm-hmm. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, man, I, I work my ass off. It, it may not seem like it, but it is, it's hard work. Yeah. Really. But it, that's, that's just an example of, bro, you just can't quit. You gotta keep going. You gotta get through yeah, all true. the bad shit. Yep. With anything in life, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I do blame it on some of these parents. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That be, that be putting some of these things in kids that be making them believe certain things or just make them, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it's your man. job to make them Understand, yo, you know what I'm exactly. saying? It's life. You gotta get your ass back up. You gotta keep pushing. And keep trying, yeah. Like my mother. Yeah. He said, if you fall down, get back get up. Get your ass back up. If you get knocked down, get back up. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah like Denzel said. Like, yeah. if you fall seven times, get up eight times. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because no matter what you do in life, you're always gonna have to keep rising. Yeah. Rising for you, rising for your kids, rising for everybody. Because you know what? You're not the only one. They're trying to keep going. That's a fact, and that and I like and I love to say to myself all the time. I used to be I, I be like, uh, you know, the negativity ain't going nowhere. Exactly. So you might as well be positive through it all, because negativity ain't going nowhere. I don't know what people think, but then putting negative on top of negative is just gonna make a whole. It's just gonna this man. It's just gonna be bad. Yeah. So because you might as well be negative positive. on top of negative, you will find out. You have nothing going for you. It ain't going. You ain't gonna process. You ain't exactly. gonna progress from it. You ain't even gonna gain from nothing from that. Exactly. Because this negativity in life is gonna be there forever. You just gotta be. You gotta be positive, bro. You gotta have a positive mindset throughout yeah. through all the stuff. Exactly. You gotta learn to nitpick through life type shit. Because whatever goes wrong, it's gonna be part of you go right. Yeah, man. Now, if, if, if something you can't understand about that. You need to talk to your parents. Sit down. Talk to anybody. Actually, to anybody, talk right? Talk to any guardian, any model, any role any, model that right. you have in your life, bro. You know, anybody. Because oh, I understand I'm some telling. people. Yeah, I understand some people don't got parents and all that. But I know y'all at least have somebody to look up to. Right. If not, yo, you need to get in some books or something. Because there's yeah. always a way. There's always a way to learn. Always. There's always a way to learn. There's no excuse to not learning something. You learn something every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all gotta y'all gotta keep your head up through all these times, bro. Definitely. I ain't gonna lie. I kept working at it, and then one day I threw out a dunk, and I remember my buddy still wouldn't put me over. He said that was a Vladi Divac dunk. In the time of Michael Jordan, that's a backhanded compliment. But then it was two hand tomahawks after that. But it was the failures. And what's happening with our parents is, is, is these bulldozer parents is we're creating 